All right, let's take a quick look at how you can set up a shared calendar, um, whether it be with a class or anybody else. So you can either start here on the office.com page and click on calendar or from your email. Remember, you always have the waffle in the upper left hand corner. You can click on it there. And then again, calendar may not show up for you in this list, but by simply clicking on all apps right here, you're going to be able to get to your calendar the same way. Once you're in the calendar, then you're able to add other calendars. So you can see here, I have several listed. Some of these are going to be uh, calendars that they let you select through office.com. And then others are ones that I've created. But all you have to do is down here under other calendars, you click on the plus or right up here when you click on plus, it's going to give you this option for a new calendar. So you can separate them in different categories or just click right up here under your calendar. And so I might call this one second period. And once I have a name, I just hit enter. I now have a new calendar that's ready to go. And you see up here at the top, as long as I've clicked on it here on the left side, I have the option to turn on or off any other calendars. So I have a shared calendar here and here, and this is the one that I own. I'm going to turn a couple of these off just for simplicity so that you can see what's happening. Now, if you go in to make a calendar appointment on any given day, when you double click on the date, you're going to have this drop down option. And so you'd want to select the right calendar. So if I was wanting to put an assignment on here or something else for my students, maybe I just want to have some good benchmarks for it. I can click right there. And then now I'm ready to go ahead and create the assignment however I wanted to. Now, another thing that you have that you can do from this is if you're going to use Teams or you're going to use uh, OneNote or you have a website somewhere else that you're wanting to uh, deal with, you can also get a link and drop that link in or make that link available to other people. So once you're in your calendar, you can come up here to the gear icon in the upper right hand corner and you're going to select calendar right here. And then on the left side, we're going to go to calendar publishing. I want to select the calendar that I'm ready to publish, which in my case is going to be the second period one. I am going to decide, decide here what I want to share from that. And if this is me, I would go ahead, if it was a shared calendar for other assignments or dates or anything else that's going to be important for my group, I would probably go ahead and click full details. And then I'm going to go, say, go ahead and say save up here. I now have two different links that are available to me. This link right here, the first one, the HTML link, if I copy that now, and so then when I'm ready to come into my team, I always have the option to add a website up here. I can click on the plus button. I can go ahead and say website. I could call this my class calendar, drop my link right here and say save. When I do that now, everybody that has access to this calendar or everybody that has access to this team, I should say, is going to have the option to be able to see this calendar right here. So I could put all my important dates throughout the year on that uh, calendar. You also do have the option at least to share a calendar with specific people if you wanted them to edit it also, but this is mainly for class type of examples and you should be able to run with it from there.